This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. I guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
with you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <sighs> this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? No. 
He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima.
And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In Grimmi et Art Kerze, Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut, Emir var Emreis. Bow. Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Pavilion nomen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? to discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! 
Take him to the sorceress. the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts need not bother. First thing in the morning and it's past noon. Calm yourself. What? Do you know where you're talking to yourself now? I'm Herobard the second, Prince of Elanda. The scene has got a name. Yeah, a name. Rad sleeten eh enekt es tun es sal an the name. Tell him. Es ist ein Epps. Epps Prinzen nennen. Kleide. Es ist ein Epps. Es ist ein Epps. Nehmen Sie mir, Dekla. Es ist Kleid. In bed, rain a guard, and send it in. As a blanket, and send it in. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill sharpened yet. Transcribe. Mm -hmm. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft in triplicate. Be so kind and do not disturb me. A shame I have no time. Ready me, directly out of northern mysteries. You can see. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. 
Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it, any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Bessemir roam the wilderness, Talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting.
was healed nicely. A shame I have no time. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. 
Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mentioned something of the sort. So long.